Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachel Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect out here pushing his truth and sincerity. The water of which I do. We love you. We appreciate you through the spirit of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And Shalom to you. It's your brother Dawadad. Abaratazai, meaning Father's will. I'm here to give you an edifying lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls God. All right. Bahasham means in the name. All right. And Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. So Yahweh is Hebrew. That's his real name. All right. It means he exists. All right. So that's his name. Who you call Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai, which is Hebrew. All right, and it means he is the savior. Okay. So if you're watching this now and you're a so called black Native American or Latino man or woman, then you're a Hebrew Israelite according to the Holy Bible. And if you're watching this now and you don't look like a so called black Native American or Latino man or woman, but you feel like this truth resonates with your spirit and that you understand it and you feel like it's the truth, then Abaratazah, meaning Father's will, there's a good chance that you could be an Israelite too as well. Because it is not about what you look like. It is all about who your forefathers are. The lineage, the bloodline, leaning back to Abram, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, Jacob had his name later changed to Israel. All right, or Israel goes back to the Hebrew, Yasharala, which means he, prince, power, meaning he is a prince of the power. Okay? So... That's that's the truth. You will not find the word black, Native American and Latino Latinos as far as be, that being names of nations in the Bible. You won't find that. So there's a bunch of there's so many different things, man, that's <laughs> you, you don't know about. That's even in 2021, everybody knows pretty much that the so-called blacks and Native Americans and Latinos are the Hebrew Israelites. But some somewhere in their mind, they're not fully convinced. You know what I'm saying they they know that they, they hear about us saying that we're the Israelites, but somewhere in their mind they're not fully convinced, and that's okay because everybody's not going to get it. But even in 2021, you do have a few people who might not know that they are Hebrew Israelite, man. All right, they might not know that the words blacks and Native Americans and Latinos are not even in the Bible to be um, a nation of people that are, that are in the Bible, and I even mentioned like that. People like still walking around calling themselves black when black is a color. People still walking around calling themselves Latino or Native American, you know, or Irish or Haiti, Haitian. So there's, there's some type of veil that's been put over the heads of, of, of the people in the world. And those veils have to be, they have to be unveiled, you know, and that's what we're here to do. And the spirit from the Heavenly Father through his son was put on the apostles and elders of great millstone to teach us these things man these are the, this is the, this is the truth all right lots of things are being hidden, hidden in the world all right but ultimately of course the powers that be here on earth they're trying to establish some type of order in a society all right so like you <sighs> they try to establish some type of order in a society man through chaos right order of chaos Meaning order out of chaos. And part of that chaos. A big piece of that chaos. I should say. Is the things that you see going on today. Mainly primarily. um, You know like World War 3. That's a prophecy of the Bible. Right. But another thing is what. What do you think of right now that's going on. That's major. It's always in the news. Right. It's always on a pretty much a topic of conversation of, of a everyday average American citizen or even citizens of other countries. And that's pertaining to the um, the I would say I want to say virus. Hopefully it is this, you know, this show won't be monetized because of that one word. But, you know, that virus that's out there, that's a part of prophecy, man. Right. Whether it's real or fake, there's a lot of controversy going, you know, throughout the throughout America and all the parts of the world. And it's shaking people up. All right. Because 
Some believe that the reason why this thing exists is so that they can implement um these juices. All right. And if you take the juice or you don't take the juice, you're gonna be on either side of a of a, of a of a team or either side of an army or either our side of a fence or you know you know you're gonna be a you're gonna be a, a opposite and opposition of the of the counter right so I'm gonna play a video uh, and I really like this video too man because <laughs> it shows the hypocrisy of the the today's media and 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 it, and it further shows you as well. That this thing, this whole thing is set up, man, right? The media is, they're puppets, and they only do what a certain type of people tell them what to do. <laughs> you want to know who's in power, find out who the people are that you can't talk about. That's a good saying right there. So I'll play this video, right? Because in this video, um, this is Aaron Rodgers, right? And he's getting a lot of backlash because of the things that I guess that he said about the juice and the virus and um people are coming up against him, right? And a scripture that comes to mind is um if Satan be divided against Satan, how should he stand? Right? And I'm not calling Aaron Rodgers um Satan or anything like that. You know, he could be an Israelite, maybe he is, maybe he isn't. But the point is that whatever you choose, you have an opposition. Whatever you choose, you have enemies. Whatever you choose, you have someone on the other side of you who feel greatly disrespected because you're either one, not getting the juice, or two, you're the one pushing the juice on them. So either side is greatly offended. Either side is greatly offended. And of course, us at Great Millstone, the Hebrew Israelites, we don't care because we've been talking about this for decades, right? We've been talking about this for decades. And through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai, none of this is going to matter anyways because we're not on any of your sides. So whether you do choose to take the juice or you don't take the, uh, take the juice, we don't care about you because if you're not in this truth, if you're not in this, this fold, if you're not part of the elect or if you don't agree with this, you know, we don't we don't have nothing to say to you, man. So even if you do take the juice, or you even if you don't take the juice, but you still haven't acknowledged the fact that, you know, this is the truth and you're a Hebrew Israelite, you know, and if the Most High didn't call you through, the, through Yahweh Shai, through his son, then, hey, we still don't care about you anyways. And this is facts, man. Right. So I'm playing the video now, man, and you know we're just gonna kind of break the video down and just bring out scriptures to kind of back up, you know, with the things that are happening in the video, um, that pertain to the, you know, the prophecies and that pertain to the current events of the world. All right, let's do it. Green Bay Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers is now owning up to the fact that he's not vaccinated for COVID, despite telling reporters in August that he'd been quote immunized. Rogers tested positive for coronavirus earlier this week, and now he's blaming what he calls the woke mob and cancel culture for the backlash he's getting. I realize I'm in the crosshairs of the woke mob right now. So before my final nail gets put in my cancel culture uh, casket, I think I'd like to set the record straight on so many of the uh, blatant lies that are out there about myself right now. I'm not... Uh, you know, some sort of anti-vax flat earther. Um, all right. So one thing. All right. So whether this nigga has the virus or not. Right. Um. Well, hey, well, let's put it this way. If he had the virus during this video, he sounds pretty goddamn OK to me. All right. You know, he's not huffing and puffing. You know, he's not all like dying of of. You know, because he can't breathe. <sighs> and then two, why do you have to be a flat earther if you believe, if you're like, if you're an anti-vaxxer? Why, why, do, why do the, the two sides, why do the, the two things make one whole? Like, so if you don't believe 
and vaccines and vaccinating babies and children and yourselves, you know, and you believe that a lot of those things cause autism or, um, you know, breaks down the immune system and things like that. If you believe that, why do you have to be a flat earther, right? And it's a, of course, it's, it's generally a bigger picture. He's not really calling you a flat earther. What he's saying is like you're just a conspiracy theorist or a conspiracy bigot or just someone who do, kind of doesn't want to hear any type of reasoning. And I'm saying, why put the two together, right? Because though there's those out there. I'll use myself as an example. I don't believe in... I'm I'm damn sure an anti-vaxxer. I'm damn sure an anti-vaxxer because I don't believe that there should be um, juices put in put inside you, all right, for things that wasn't you know that were man, already man-made to begin with. It wasn't like there was things on the earth that just got people sick, like like just from breathing regular air, regular clean air, drinking clean water, and eating clean food. Those things got you sick, and we got to create a vaccine to to fend that that shit off. Like what th- what disease in this world could you possibly think of that's natural? It is not uh, man made that we need to be uh, um, saved saved from, right? And I don't mean like you know there was never a time where people didn't get, didn't get sick, and you know didn't die from a sickness or any diseases. I'm saying that if it's not if it's not in my best interest to to get the vaccine for this thing that, you know, you deem as apocalyptic, right? Cuz people swear up and down that if you don't get a vaccine, all right? If you if you don't get the juice, then you're going to spread it to the rest of the world and the whole world's going to be put to death. So now, you know, you're the problem. But most of these things that come out in this world, these diseases and shit, are man-made. So you're not going to keep on making all these different diseases and viruses and then try to make juice to do away or subside the virus, right? And force people to to take this juice, to drink this juice, man, when it's harmful for the, to the body, you know, because many, many, many years ago, they lived without any of this stuff and they didn't have these problems that you people are having today with these goddamn viruses. All right. The only thing I can only virus I could possibly think of that might not have been man made is the Black Plague. And the only reason why that was um, that w- that that happened is because that was prophecy. The Most High had to bring us down because during the all uh, the black ages because we ruled Europe for a thousand years so we had to be taken out um because there was nobody else cuz man man couldn't take us down so we had to be destroyed first right we had to be killed off first and and uh brought down to to lo- to low to a low estate to low defenses to low awareness to low combat, we had to be brought all the way down and buckle first before anybody could come and infiltrate our, our barracks or infiltrate our armies or infiltrate our, our security, our families. So the Most High had to create something to destroy us first. Because other than that, y'all can't take us on, man. You people cannot take on the so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Latinos and win unless you do something first. So that's the only disease I could think of that's recorded in history that wasn't man-made. Because if you look up all these different diseases and stuff, there's already movies, subliminal messaging, and, and all types of media that explain that in certain times coming, that there will be a, a man-made virus and there will be some juice that comes shortly after that man-made virus in order to take control over the population. The Europeans brought chicken pox over here, man, and smallpox and all that shit. Because the native, so the native, so called Native American Indians, they weren't sick. They didn't get sick. They were a clean people. I know people today, man, who have never been sick their whole lives, in other countries, <clears throat> Slovakia or or off off other islands and things like that, and they'll come over here and catch a common cold, 
in 70 years and not ever being sick. They'll come over here with all these man-made diseases and they'll die from catching a common cold. You know why? Ooh, let's get it. Let's get the reason why. This is Job 9 and 24. It says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So this earth was given into a certain type of people in this world who don't want to see anybody do any type of good but themselves. Right? And and even in shit, even though they only want to see themselves do, do good, really they'll kill themselves off because the things that they're creating is self-destructing. All right? The chemtrails in the air, they got to smell that shit too. They got to inhale that, right? The fluoride in the water, they got to drink that shit. The GMOs in the food, they got to eat the same shit we eat. So they really, they kill themselves. You want know, to talk about damn goddamn robots that, you know, can take over the human race? They're the ones creating that. The earth is giving it to the hand of the wicked. They're creating diseases and viruses inside of labs, man. And then they're releasing it into the population. Watch the movie Contagion. Watch The Walking Dead. Watch um, World War Z or War Z, whatever that is. They're letting this shit out, man. And then they're just controlling it. That's all. That's why the CDC is called Center for Disease Control. They control diseases, man. <laughs> Create and, and control. They don't They don't find a, a new disease all of a sudden. Oh, look at this. It's a new disease. It's a new virus. And then find out ways to get rid of them no what they do is they create this shit but they already have protection from it because they make the protection or so-called protection they make it first before they release the diseases or viruses i need to do your research man this ain't just conspiracy you know just well i mean really the only the word conspiracy is only means to conspire which means to come to come together against something or someone that's it. So so what if it's a conspiracy? It only means all it means is to come together against. To come against a particular thing or person. So it's, it's okay it's okay to be a conspiracy um uh, person who believes in conspiracy. Which is if I believe in in if I believe that you're doing wrong, I'm coming against you, that's okay. Right? It's not a theory because it's not something I'm just putting together. No, it's the truth. It should be called conspiracy truth. <laughs> right? So, Job 9 24 says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Right? They're coming up with all these different things, man. And they're releasing them into the population because they're fucking wicked, man. Right? That's why a, a, some, someone from Jamaica could come over here, hasn't been sick in 50 years, come over here, catch a common cold, and die. That's because it's country is riddled with man-made diseases and man-made viruses man right you see literally literally man they're literally inside labs making shit to kill you gmos putting that shit in your food so you don't get real nutrition so you don't get any of the benefits of an apple but you're eating an apple isn't that crazy all that fiber and stuff gone the B12, well, the B, was it B12 and all that? The, the vitamins and things getting sucked out of certain fruits and vegetables, right? Or, they, or, they, or they'll ban it so that you can't eat it, consume it, or use it. And you got to go buy it off of Amazon or some shit like that. Because the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, man. It says he covered the faces of the judge thereof, if not where and who is he? Because the so-called white man has... Taking the, ju the, the judges of this book and they turn them into, into so called white people instead of so called blacks, Native American, Latino people. All right, look at who they call Jesus Christ, whose name is Yahweh Shah. I got him, to, you know, he's, he's a white man pretty much, as far as, you know, how you people describe him. God, so called white power. You know, they always got like that, that painting where who you call God is. Touching the the finger of a, of a, of it was a David or another angel or something like that, and they everybody's so called white people, little angels flying around. Everybody's all butt naked and white. <laughs> That's the so called white man. He he he's the damn wicked. 
he covered the face of the judges of and you know and put him butt naked and if not then where is who who is he if he ain't the wicked then who the hell is the wicked because this man has conquered the world and let's get proverbs 9 and 24 because he's he's conquered the world and for some reason, the whole world fucking hates. To, they don't want to live. You got suicide at the all-time high, man. At the craziest, highest rates, man. Proverbs 29 and 2. The righteous are, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Ain't nobody rejoicing right now. Everybody mad, depressed, and stressed the fuck out right now, man. It says, but when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Everybody got them on antidepressants, dying from uh, committing suicide. Dying from from uh, high blood pressure and strokes due to all the stress and the bad uh, choices and and diet. You got you got a goddamn monopoly out here, but all your restaurants are poisonous. McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, got all this goddamn fast food everywhere, man. Yeah, of course you got healthy choices in there too, but you shouldn't have certain types of foods, man. And yet, well, at least don't put it all over the place as to where it's so easily accessible, man, and cheap to buy. Knowing that a certain type of people who can't afford you know, good food, they're going to buy that shit, man. That shit's killing people. Because when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when a wicked bears through, the people mourn. That's why everybody out here is in mourning because of you. Esau, right? Let's continue on with the video. I am somebody who's a critical thinker. Uh, you guys know me. I marched to the beat of my own drum. Now, Roger said that he uh, had a lot of study, or he, he conducted a lot of study that went into his decision not to get vaccinated. He said it was a lot like the study he put into hosting Jeopardy. He also said that he had concerns about vaccines and sterility and that he couldn't get the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine because of allergies to an ingredient in it. As for not completely following all the NFL guidelines for unvaccinated players, he quoted Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I love how he saw the damn devil, man, because I watched you watching this video and this guy is like, you know, proud. You know, he's just proud to, to try to as if he knows it all. He's just confident that, <laughs> you know, his their way is the right way. And they're trying to shit on Aaron Rodgers or anybody who doesn't believe in their agenda but it's kind of funny because Joe Rogan literally ripped these niggas apart on CNN Joe Rogan ripped these niggas on CNN ass apart calling them out about how they lie and they've been lying about this virus and they've been lying about the juice about how they've been lying on his name that he was taking some type of animal medicine or animal uh some type of animal drug or whatever that's for, supposed to be for horses or something like that when in actuality he was taking regular natural drugs right natural medicine uh, so I want to say drugs natural medicine having a healthy diet and regularly exercising and consuming natural amenities that help build up your immune system, keep your body healthy and strong to, to, to fight away viruses, man. So when he caught, when he caught it, when he caught the virus, his body got rid of it damn near almost immediately and he didn't have any symptoms. He don't need no juice and he's not going to pass it to anybody else. But these people try to scare you into trying to get this juice. They try to scare you into getting the juice. That's all that these people on CNN are trying to do. And people are getting divided from this thing, man. Because you got some people who say... I don't need it. And you got other people who say, you do need it. And they're going to come together. They're going to meet. And all hell is going to break loose out here on the streets, man. And all over the all over the world. Which is beautiful. 
I work as a ski patroller at Sun Valley in a role where it's easy to have. As an aside, but the great MLK said that there, you have a moral obligation to object to unjust rules and rules that make no sense. Yeah. Well, Johnny. Fuck you. Do you have a moral obligation to uh, accept or reject things that, you know, morally don't make any sense? Rules that they try to put in place that don't make any sense. Well, what does that sound like? Let's get it. Am I tripping? Am I tripping? That's it. Damn, I know I'm way off, but... Woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees. <laughs> That's the scripture in the Bible. Let's get it, man. I want to get it. I want to read it. Oh, Isaiah 10 and 1. I always do that. It says... I always do that, man. It says, Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. And that right grievousness which they have prescribed. So woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. It is an unrighteous decree for you to try to tell other people what they can and cannot do. Right? And not the wicked things. Wicked things you cannot do. You're not supposed to do. But force them into doing something they don't want to do is an unrighteous decree. If you make it mandatory, that is an unrighteous decree. Rights for the alphabet people is an unrighteous decree. That is unrighteous. Yo. What's going on? Yeah, well, I'm kind of doing something now. What's good? Yeah. So that's an unrighteous decree, man. You know? And that's pretty much what he's saying in the video. That's right there. I'm going to run it back. That's exactly what he's saying. I mean, now to talk about this retire To unjust rules and rules that make no sense. Woo! Run that okay, back. He said that you have a moral obligation to object to unjust rules and rules that make no sense. Damn. You have a moral obligation to reject unjust rules and rules that make no sense. Woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees, man. Those are unjust rules <laughs> and rules that make no sense. But you're going to put it out there to be mandatory as if it is a rule that makes a sense. That makes sense and it is a rule that is just. When ultimately it is not just and it doesn't make any sense. But you're going to try to force people into either a getting down or laying down. <laughs> which getting down with you is laying down anyways, right? Take it how you want to take it. But the wicked, when you get down with the wicked, you will be laid down, all right? You will be laid down twice because never, the scriptures say, never trust thine enemy, man, because as iron rusted, so does his wickedness. So if you get down with him, he going to lay you down anyways, right? And if, he, and if you get down with him and you happen to escape him, yeah, how is Shai is gonna destroy you, man? You're gonna or you're gonna get hit by the missiles. Alright. A scripture that comes to mind is was he tried to run away, but yeah, he, a bear met, met him. He put his his hand on a wall and the snake bit him. So hey man. Never trust these people, man. And these things are being exposed. These things are these things are being hey man the things that they that they're get they're into the Esau the so called white man the Illuminati and and you know the, with their new world order is all being exposed man let's get that in open diet really quick man and we could go ahead and wrap it up after this this is this is this is good man because it shows you how this world this this country hey well this world is so divided man Yahweh Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is coming back to bring order and justice and peace to this world man 
you know, establish order, man. 